All right, ready? Yep. Spin the wheel. Here goes. Where we going? Where we going? All the E's. England! England! It's coming home. It's coming. No, I didn't. Okay, so it's been a couple of weeks. We've collated all of your comments. Thank you so much for this. Um, boys, the dish that the community have selected for you to make from England can I, is. Can I say it? The Wigan Slappy. The what? The Wigan Slappy. I mean, I like the name. Here's a photo for you guys at home. We provided all the ingredients you need, so uh, if you'd like to unveil those and, and have a guess at what you think you're making. Do you have any idea what this is? Well, now I've seen some ingredients, mm. I've got a steer, but the only thing I can think with a Wigan Slappy, which is why these two are so ex excited and know that I have no idea, is it's something to do with football. Mm. Well, we're going to provide you with some clues at the right time to steer you in the right direction, but let's get cracking. Step one, make your balms. Ah. Uh. <laughs> can I ask one question? Sean? Sure. Has anyone ever made a Wigan Slappy from scratch before? I'm sure some people have, but yes, this could be a world first. Okay, good. Do you know what it is? Yeah, I think I know what this might be. Has the community done a good job? In the community this? have done an incredible job. <laughs> what are balms? I would imagine a balm is a bit like a bat. 100% correct. In the Midlands, it would be a bat. Or a, we'd probably call it a roll. A roll, a balm, a butty. Yep. A cob. These are all oldie worldy names and very regional names for bread rolls. Get cracking! So what have you got there? Right, so flour, yeast. Sugar. We will need some salt and some flour. Um, first of all, hydrating our yeast. Yep. Do you want to, or should I? <laughs> so this is just tepid water. Typically, you'd give that a couple of minutes to start and kind of bubble and activate just to make sure that you know it is alive because it's a dried yeast and it will just come back to life. Alternatively, you could just throw it all in and hope that it's fresh and it'll do its job. Don't you put the yeast in one side, the sugar in one side, the salt in yeah, one side, and then too. pour the water over the top, and isn't that a quick way of doing it? This is a traditional way of doing it, and I'm presuming this is quite a regional traditional dish. It absolutely is, Ebers. Some say the dish was created as a cheap dinner by school children. Others say it was created to provide on-the-go, hard-working Wiganers an easy way to eat whilst on the move with minimal mess. That is a clue. We're starting off with our bread, strong flour, salt, sugar, and yeasted water. Brilliant. And when it comes to a balm, a bap, or a roll, what's the, what's the perfect bap? Crusty on the outside, floured on the top, and then fluffy in the middle. Ah, it's a, cr a crusty, mm. a crusty slappy, or a soft slappy. Well, I think a slight crust. I like a crusty roll, but I don't know if this is like a, like a bap, oh. or like a cob. Okay, yeah. Just a question. Yeah. Isn't this series about celebrating the very best of a country's cuisine? Absolutely. Jamie, I'm going to be honest with you. I had one at the weekend. Did and you? On a, it, was my life, it was the highlight of the weekend. We're, when we were doing the research It was spectacular. This, he went out and he made one himself. But the traditional way. The you traditional made one the traditional way. way. Yes. Okay, good. Right. So we'll need that for five minutes or so to get the elasticity of the gluten going, and then we'll shape them, tray them, and let them prove in a proving drawer. Let's move on to the remainder of your ingredients. Step two, use those. Oh, I love these guessing games. So this, this, looks, this looks logical, because at first I thought this and this, and I thought hash brown, rushdy kind of yeah. thing. No. Then I saw this, which is confusing. So what's that? Uh, suet. Suet. Beef suet. And what do you use suet for? Typically use it in steamed puddings or dumplings. Something that's called a pudding but is actually savoury. Yes. Mm. Can I give you a fun clue? Yeah. Um, Wigan Athletic Football Club, their mascot is this. <laughs> and how athletic would you say that mascot is? <laughs> 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 so hang on a minute. So we've got potential dumplings. We've been given stock cubes. So whatever we're doing is wet. Lots of water. This and a cut of beef that looks like it needs a fairly long, slow cook. And then plain flour and bacon carb. So that is screaming out dumplings. And that's screaming out stew. But I don't understand how that fits in a balm. What if, Ben? And I don't want to blow your mind. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're about to. <laughs> what if we didn't make dumplings with the suet, 
but we made an encasing for the beef and the potatoes. I've got you. Yeah? This is where you put a pie in a bat. <laughs> yeah! yeah! Wow, a wig and slappy is a beef pie. Beef and potato pie. Inside a bread roll. <laughs> <laughs> it is the traditional wig and kebab, isn't it? That's 100% yeah. correct. Yes! Look at you, head chef. True knowledge. <laughs> do you want the jacket? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to do that. No, nor do I. But, well, that's, that's, that's easy. You're Jamie's chef. done his no, no, bit. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Peeled and finely diced potato. Peeled and finely diced onion. Finely chopped, almost minced beef. Heavy on black pepper, and then a beef stock cube, which will give you the salty umami ness. Yep. I feel like a fair amount of liquid will come out of the onion, potato, and meat as you cook it, like a pasty, but we might need to add a little bit in there just to loosen it. So something we, we all know about the North, aside from the fact that people are friendly and talk to each other, is that <laughs> the pie is sacred. Yep. Like, it is the cornerstone of the North diet. And you can see why. It's such a convenient food. And it's awesome. Yeah. It's even better than a banana, in the sense that it has its own casing, except you can eat the casing as well. Yes. Like a banana's good, it has its own casing, but you can't eat the peel. Just to help, 110 grams of dough will provide the right-ish size. Very nice, Jay. Some of those are even. People like to come down on British food, and I think this video is going to prove them wrong. For me, this dish is as much about how it makes you feel as yeah. what it is what it tastes like. Yeah. Like, it's, it's really silly. Yeah. But everything about it, the texture, the flavours, simple but effective. But look how happy we yeah. all are to make one and eat one. That's like, that is the epitome of comfort food. Yeah. For those who haven't used it before, that is suet. Beef fat, kind of beef dripping almost. But it's great stuff. And it's going to be a two to one ratio flour to fat. Whoa, whoa. No, like a short crust pastry. Okay. That would be the same. Does the suet flavour the pastry as well? I don't think it has as much flavour, ironically, as something like a butter. But it's a very, very cheap fat because it is a byproduct of the beef industry. What I love about this. This is like a proper food of the people. This has become famous around the world because of what seems like a crazy idea of putting a pie inside a bread roll. But it works and it's delicious. I like so much of UK food is born out of necessity. And this particular dish, very, very cheap ingredients, a cheap cut of beef, root vegetables, suet, which was almost a byproduct of the beef and flour, hugely calorific. So in terms of calories per pound spent, very, very good. I feel like it's just missing a side of edge. It's got onions in it. What we're basically putting is carb inside carb inside carb. Yeah. It's just missing a few portions of edge. Tens of thousands of people, maybe hundreds of thousands of people, eat this every single week at football matches, yeah. rugby matches. Do we have that many fans? No, it's not <laughs> Justin Wigan. This is... And they have a rugby team. Yeah. yeah. This is this is universal. This is the North. Yeah. So what we're going to do, Jay, uh, bottom, sides, and then crimper top. Uh, dice this as well. Yeah, 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 same size. Oh, what? UK brisket. To me, it's corned beef. Mm -hmm. If you look at it, you know, I think with those ingredients, you could also have made corned beef. Yeah. This will be news to you. We're going to take pies very seriously. It's said that once the town's pie factory burned down and halting production was out of the question. Instead, they brought in emergency pie makers to make up for the lack of production. Hey, how are you feeling about creating a wig and slappy? I mean, it's like this entire series. They've all been dishes that we've never done before. Mm. I had heard of the name before, but I didn't really know what it was. So again, it's another newbie, even though it's from our own shores. How wet are you brave enough to go with this? Because remember, you want this to be handheld, and the bread is there to mop up any of the juices that may come out of the pie. It's got to be thick. 
like it's a thick sauce. So wet, yes, but runny, no. Yeah. There's, it's got to be a good viscosity to it. Remember, it's the Wigan Slappy, not the Wigan Sloppy. Oh, Very what good. a good, nice. yeah. Very that's good. a different yeah. thing altogether. Are you making tops or bottoms, Ebers? That's the top. Okay. Gonna sit on there. Because it's smaller. Size. No, because it's above the sides and bottom. Right, fine. <laughs> Shall I give this a mix? Uh, yes, please. Heavy on black pepper, we've put our yep. stock cube in for umami, onion, potato, beef. It's gonna taste of all those ingredients. And yeah, step back for a second. Look at you, you I know. lucky part. I was rolling onto my top. Well, you let your top just rest on the table. Yes, my belly just rests <laughs> on the table. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a shimmery Wigan slappies. A little bit of water. I feel like actually what we should have had was gravy granules. Yeah. Because then that would have thickened with potato starch, any of the liquid that comes out. But you have got potato in there, which is going to kind of do the same thing, I would hope. We put a stock cube in, which is salty, but there's a lot of... Did you season it? Of course I seasoned it, then. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a great shout, but we had the conversation. Let's do lots of black pepper and a stock cube. Yeah. I didn't realise you sorted it as well. Well, well then whose fault is that for putting more salt in without asking if it had already been seasoned? Jamie, it's on top. Take it's it off. Below. No, no, mix it. <laughs> Did you put lots of salt in? Yeah, I put the posh salt in because we're making a wig and slappy. <laughs> <laughs> so, traditionally, to thicken it, a bit more flour. Yep. Oh, inside the... Mm -hmm. Okay. Is that salt? No. Right, fine. Now, the challenge here is you want the potato to cook enough to absorb some of the liquid, which the flour will also do, but not so much that it becomes mashed potato in the pie. Yeah, you still want to mm. bite through it, don't mm. you? To pierce or not to pierce? Something like a pasty, the beauty of the crimp is you keep all the raw ingredients inside so it is intensely and fiercely hot and cooks that tough cut of meat quite quickly. Mm -hmm. The second option is you let the steam out so that it, like that would be like a cooked filling maybe. Do you want to do one of each and then we can feel which one we think is better? Yeah, so good logic. Good logic. Good logic. logic. Yeah. You just eat your out logic fire. Spock. <laughs> <laughs> So hypothetically, yeah. if I were to eat a Wigan Slappy, yes. but not finish it, and then hand you my other half, and then you finish it, uh -huh. would you be getting your oh. Slappy Seconds? How long are they going to go in the oven for? I've got an oven at 200 degrees, and I'm going to say yeah. 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 30 to 40 minutes. Good. So slightly bulbous on our balms, yeah. but still joined in the middle. Oh, smell that. The smell the baps. Smell my balm. Oh, that is perfect. While they're still just warm, Jay, do you want to butter them? Yes. But look at that. Just be very gentle with them because they're so soft and warm. On that, yeah. So yes, this has got to be handheld and self-contained, but I'm presuming the kind of venues that serve these provide wet wipes or similar as well, because like you're gonna get a little bit mucky, aren't you? I think you get some newspaper. Right, this is what I'm most intrigued by though. How have our pies turned out? Three, two, one. Oh, there they go. Pipe. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. You happy with that? I mean, it's weighty. It's a weighty pie, golden all the round. Yeah, but now at this point, how would you usually serve this pie? I think that would be absolutely fabulous with a dollop of mashed potato, mm. heavy on the butter, maybe cold cannon. I'm sorry, he's complaining about carb on carb on carb. There's potato in the pie. <laughs> Why would you put mashed potatoes yes, with it? Yes, Evers is thinking like a Wiganer. <laughs> Heavy on the cabbage, or uh, a champ with some spring onion, extra veg on the side, and then a dousing of wonderful gravy. Instead, let's put it in a balm. I'm kind of very happy with those little individual pies. I think the balms are good. They proved a little bit lopsided, but do you know what? It's a flowery balm. Awesome, I think that's good. That is an English delicacy. God save <laughs> our gracious king. Lord. <laughs> Great effort, boys. Mm -hmm. Would you like to see a traditional Wigan slappy and what that looks like? Oh, you know what? I mean, I didn't crimp my top, but otherwise... Pretty good, right? A Wigan kebab or a Wigan slappy. Uh, do you know what? Never had one, loved making it. I just hope it tastes as good as I want it to. Come on then. I, I feel like it's just a squish and eat, but kind of, we've got to share it. Yeah. Cut it, squish it. 
got a good squidge, isn't it? I'll be... What Ooh. is this going to taste like? Oh, where's the other one gone? Wow. Well, thank you, Wigan. Cheers, Wigan. Cheers. 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 Wigan Slappy. Mm. That is so good. <laughs> Every bone in my body wants to just splash a bit of Henderson's relish over this, like keeping it, keeping it in the north. But it doesn't need it. It's more refined than you think. Yeah. <laughs> It has everything that you need in it. It's not hiding behind anything. Mm. It just tastes of steak and onion pie. The potato is the filler in a pretty damn good barn. That is good honest food, that is. The buttery pastry and the buttered fat. On top of the fact that it's a stunning pie, boys. Mm. That is a brilliant pie. A great brilliant pie. pie. It's a good balance of dry and wet, isn't it? <laughs> Actually. Well, we're genuinely gastronomically analysing this. Mm -hmm. And it's superb. And I never thought this would happen. Look over there, look at him. I'm so happy. The chef having a lovely time eating a... Eating a Wigan wig kebab. <laughs> eating a Wigan kebab. <laughs> it's also given us the chance to put into practice bread making, mm -hmm. pastry making, a lot of knife skills. And actually, the, the potato and the onions are all very, very finely diced. And that's what makes it a pleasure to eat. Who knew England could surprise us? Let's see if countries beginning with F. <laughs> can also surprise us. Ebbers, where in the F do you want to go next? Either France, Finland or Fiji. Three chances. What are you hoping for? I, I think there's a lot to discover in France still, but Fiji would be more fun. Yeah, yes! Fiji! And I say fun and frivolous because I have no idea about that cuisine. Comment below, let us know which Fijian dish should we cook next. I don't think I know much about Fiji at all. Excellent!